The D1 men's hockey team traveled to Ohio for the ACHA showcase. The Panthers ended up going 2 and 1 with Phil Graveline recording his first ever shutout of the season. Women's volleyball hosted their Panther Invitational. They ended up winning the title. Olivia Denharte ended up having 32 kills total. Their next match is this Saturday against Indiana Tech. Men's golf participated in the WAC Jamboree this weekend. The Panthers finished second out of 10, winning their third straight WAC championship. Women's golf finished fifth in both final rounds of their Jamboree number four. The team ends the fall season being six in the standings. The men's rugby sevens team traveled to South Bend this past weekend. The Panthers finished with an overall record of 2-2. Two and two. They traveled to South Bend again to take on Notre Dame. Women's soccer took on Aquinas and won 2-1 to one in double overtime. They also took on Indiana Tech winning 4-0 to zero with Lizzie Paul scoring a hat trick. Men's soccer took on Aquinas this past week. Dazon Kadic scored his 17th goal as he led the Panthers to a 1-0 double overtime victory. Women's rugby continued to dominate on the field, winning 43-0 over Grand Valley. The team plays again on Sunday against Western at 1. Women's hockey traveled to Northern Michigan this past week. The Lady Panthers won both games with Lexi Boyston scoring a hat trick in both games. The D3 men's hockey team took on Oakland. They split the series 1-1. One one. Their next game is Saturday against Lansing Community College. Women's tennis participated in the ITA Small College Nationals. Emily Speck and Alyssa Fuentes finished 7th in doubles, with Speck finishing 6th in singles. Both men and women's bowling teams swept their first WAC jamborees. Cross Country ran in the Bethel Invitational. Stacy Barron broke a score record with a time of 19.07, and men's lacrosse earned a spot in the WAC tournament this spring. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tune in next week to see how your pants.